Hey there YouTube, it's Rachel. I'm here to do my week in advance video. Um, usually I would have waited until tomorrow night to do it, but <coughs> excuse me, I'm starting to feel a little under the weather thanks to um the South Carolina rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it for this upcoming week. Um June sixth. Oh goodness. <laughs> June sixth through the twelfth. So tomorrow through next Tuesday. Um, first what I'm going to do is fruit fusion. And it's about halfway gone. I'm going to see if you guys can see this. See how dark that is in there? And kind of the little oily patches and shine. Such an oily candle. This one has burned so well. I haven't had any tunneling issues. Of course I do use cozies and aluminum lids all the time. But I haven't had any tunneling issues at pools nice um and has a good strong throw good strong throw <laughs> um <clears throat> when i do that one i'm gonna um this is a little bit left over from new zealand wildberry which if you haven't tried that one please if you see it in your tj max marshall's home goods etc give it a chance it's a great one and then i'm gonna have um the havana cabana cube going and Havana Cabana is listed as a luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. So I thought that'd just be a nice mix to go. So, you know, I'll have the, the New Zealand Mulberry, the Fruit Fusion, and the Havana Cabana, Havana Cabana going. And then I'll have a day that's just going to be straight up kiwi berries. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. I don't know worth a try. That, it looks like it's, from that end, it almost looks like it's tunneling, but it's just the way that it does, but it is a nice even burn. And then whenever I burn that, I will be melting kiwi berries along with it. This is a votive that I've cut in half. And then I'll have, excuse my fingernails, painting them the other day. It's a crazy color. And then I'll have um, some strawberry remnants going with peaches and berries. And I'm really wanting to see if you guys can see this. See that oil? Such a nice fragrance scent. I was slowing down on burning this one, but I am ordering another one from a friend, so I'm really excited, and so I've kind of pepped up a little bit of the burning on that one. Now, when I say slowly burning, I was burning it for about four to five hours just to get a full wax pool and blowing it out and enjoying the scent. That's one where I blow it out, and the next, like, I'll blow it out at night about six, seven o'clock, and the next morning when I get up about seven or eight o'clock, I can still smell that peaches and berries. No. And then I'm going to do um, black cherry, which this one is running low. And again, huh, such a strong scent. I'm so, I've am i been impressed. I hear a lot of people say that they're not impressed, but I don't know if it's the size of my house or what. You know, maybe whenever we move in a few years, I might be like, ugh, no wonder all these people were saying they weren't strong. But for now, I'm impressed. And I'm going to be doing um, black cherry with fruit salad. There's the label on that one. It's another votive I've cut in half. <clears throat> and then I'll be doing honeydew melon with um, fruit smoothie. I haven't decided yet if I want to dump all of this into two warmers or stretch it out. It's such a great scent. Love it. And I do have a votive of it that a friend of mine sent me right here. A friend of mine gave me, rather. So, And then um, cherry lemonade. With some lemonade stand. Every time I think it's all gone, or it's, I just, there's more. I'm pretty positive it's all gone now. Or that it will be all gone. Then vineyard. <clears throat> with Napa Valley Harvest. Now, with the semi-annual sale coming up, I'm pretty positive that I will not be going. 
My chart jar is full. I have overflow. I'm going to be putting an order with Scentsy. I'm ordering some jar candles from a friend and you know, possibly two people. But I really do not think I'll be going to the semi-annual sale unless there's some absolutely amazing deals <clears throat> on some accessories like the Beachy or maybe the Citrus um, accessories. I do have, let's see if I can carefully, just want to show you guys this sleeve. I don't know if, I mean, without making a mess, I made a horrible wax mess last night. You guys see that little bit of a pull? Not really. Anyways, it's been in here for about an hour and a half. I really like this sleeve. Um, <clears throat> you know, if they come out with some more that are my style, or if I see a beachy sleeve or something, then I might scoop that up. But um, as far as wax goes, I don't really need any. I'm getting really overwhelmed with my shelf. I know my stash pales in comparisons to some other people's, but in my mind, it's too much, and I just can't take it anymore. It's it's gotten to the point where I'm like, oh my god, where I'm going to put all this stuff, and you know, I'm making just enough room to fit what I have plus what I'm ordering, and um, I'm going to be ordering from a friend. Um, she has fruit salad, peaches and berries, country lemonade. A Sicilian orange, a scent beads, apple, something, and one other one. I'm forgetting. And then from another friend, I'm trying. I'm gonna get Macintosh and Peach and Granny Smith. I think maybe. Uh, ramen noodles here I come. Yes. And then um, I'm gonna be ordering from Scentsy. I'm gonna be ha getting nine bars, a warmer, and a plug-in warmer. So. I think I'm going to be good. But anyways, you guys have a great week. Thanks.